ingredient of I just want to take a minute. If investigators suspect you know what I mean? Play, just, just a minute. No way to prove it, since there a minute. No autopsy, for me. And a minute for me. And I want to talk about this for a second. I want to appreciate this for just a second because the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to be playing in the Super Bowl in Raymond James Stadium in Tampa Bay four days from this moment right now. It's Thursday. So three days, whatever, however many days, it doesn't matter. I've loved this team my entire life. Basically, I think I started liking them in 1997, which was the year they switched to the pewter and red. And I was lucky enough to see them win the first Super Bowl in franchise history in 2002. The game was in 2003 against the Oakland Raiders. My favorite player of all time, John Lynch, was on the team, among many others. It was a special day. Honestly, it might sound pathetic. It's been one of the best days of my life. Since it happened, it's been something I've always held on to, and it's kept me upright through what has since been 18 years of pure misery. Haven't had a playoff win since that game. Haven't been in the playoffs since 2007 when I was in 11th grade. The team has been pathetic. The franchise has the lowest winning percentage in all of sports. They're the worst team in all of sports. By total win percentage. But I pressed on. I've spent countless amounts of money on ridiculous merchandise. I've gone to games. I've repped the squad. I've done whatever it takes. I've sat in front of the TV, watched every Bucks game. That includes the 2014 season when they went 2-14, and were the worst team in the league, and got the number one pick. I've been through some of the worst quarterbacks ever. Some of the worst pass defenses ever. Raheem Morris is coach. Greg Schiano is coach. Josh Freeman, Bruce Gradkowski, Chris Sims. You name it. We have sucked. The Atlanta game in 2014 when it was 50 nothing in the first half. And I'm sitting at the Lockport Pub with my alarm clock jersey on. Looking like an asshole. Which happened all the time. I was used to it. In a weird way, it was like a badge of honor because I already had my glory moment and I was never going to let go of my phantom. It was just burned into me. If I was sane, I would have given up a long time ago. But I can't help it. I became a Bucks fan when I was a kid and I can't let it go. I can't. I've tried. So, as I referred to, we got the first overall pick. We draft Jameis Winston. And who is a bigger Jameis Winston supporter or fan than me? Not many people. Might be equal, but not more. Had his fat head on my wall. Wore his jersey all the time. Always defended him. Even though he had 30 interceptions. So let's rewind. 2019 season ends. Jameis Winston, 30 picks. Team finishes 7-9. and nine. We had just hired Bruce Arians. We haven't been to the playoffs since 2000. Seven. March 17th, it gets announced that my favorite player of all time, former Michigan Wolverine, six-time Super Bowl champion, the GOAT, Tom Brady, is coming to Tampa Bay. No fucking way. No fucking way. I'll never forget my reaction. My phone blew the fuck up like I was a celebrity. Because everybody knew. This was the match made in heaven. This could never be possible. But it's happening. Then what? Then we changed the unis back to the classics. Got rid of the ugly alarm clock jerseys, which I purchased many of, which I defended. Because I'm a fan. I support it. It's bucks first. Till I die. But we went back to the classics. Then we signed Gronk. Then we had a hell of a draft. Season starts and it's a season like no other. Nobody ever cared about the Bucks. They were just kind of a basement dwelling team that no one really paid any attention to. But now we got Tom Brady so all eyes are on us. First game of the year, Saints game. I've been waiting months with bated breath. I can't 
wait for this game. It's going to be my favorite player suiting up in a Bucks uni against my most hated team. Oh, you can't even imagine how pumped I was. That day, on the way to watch the game, I got into a car accident. Totaled my car. Missed the first half. And the Bucks lost. To the Saints. Part one. Things get on track. Things start going well. We sign Antonio Brown. Everything's looking good. Got a rematch with the Saints. Sunday Night Football. Biggest Bucks game in history since the Super Bowl, probably. What happens? Embarrassment. 38-3. Completely blown out of the water. Typical Bucks shit. And everyone said the Bucks are done. They're done. They're not what we thought they were going to be. They're not going to the Super Bowl. They might not even make the playoffs. Brady failed. Brady's washed. He needs Belichick. A few weeks later, played the Chiefs. Turned it around in the second half. Lost by three by week. Seven and five. On the outskirts of a wild card bird. They come back. Don't lose a game. Clinched the playoffs against Detroit. First playoff berth since 2007. We're back in the dance, which is all I wanted. Obviously, we know what happened after that. Beat the football team on the road. Went to the Superdome. The same team that beat us twice. The first time, I totaled my car. The second time, the most embarrassing loss in forever. And what happens? We beat them. We beat the Saints on the road. So then, NFC Championship against the Packers, who we beat early in the year, but apparently Aaron Rodgers is the MVP and the best quarterback of all time somehow. Go on the road at Lambeau, beat them. And now, we're four days away from the Tom Brady-led Tampa Bay Buccaneers Playing against the Chiefs at Raymond James Stadium in Super Bowl 55. I could have never dreamed this up. This wasn't even in my wildest fantasies. As much as I love the Bucks, as much as I've supported Brady, I never would have imagined he would come to Tampa Bay. Ever. Thought he would retire a Patriot. And if he didn't, why would he pick the Bucks? I sure as shit would have never thought his first year here, he takes him to the Super Bowl in Tampa Bay. What a time to be alive. I just want to say how grateful I am, how happy I am, how much I can't fucking wait. This is what I've been waiting for. All those years, all those games, all those losses, all that time and energy spent. For what? For this. For this. And no matter how it ends, this will go down as the greatest Buck season, at least since the Super Bowl year. If they win the Super Bowl year, it's going to top it. If they don't win, it's still special just because of all the circumstances and everything that went into it and how unlikely it was. When Tom Brady signed, people automatically, you know, he, one half said, oh, God, his career's over. The other half said they're going right to the Super Bowl. But I don't think anyone really believed it was going to happen. And it did. Here we are. I can't express my gratitude. I can't express the level of joy. I can't express how excited I am, how vindicated I feel. This is what it's all about. And I'm going to enjoy every fucking moment of this game because I don't know if it's ever going to happen again. For a while, it didn't look like it would. I'm so happy. I don't ever want this to end, but unfortunately, it has to. I just hope that it ends with the storybook ending that we deserve. Go Bucks. Bring it home. For me. Please.